so now come here we can make this uh, window a little bit better press tab press 2 for edge loop grab this edge loop and press shift shift and D to have a copy so control R control R uh, control uh, I'm sorry right click to cancel it so now that you have chosen and we pressed shift D now press separate as with it separate selection now we have this separated okay uh, I hide it by pressing I select that now this is the wall and if I select again and if I hide the wall if I hide this wall you see that we have here so what I can do is that hide this object and alt edge this is right here what I can do is that I will use as a curve when you are selected this we can press this line sorry line so and come here press right click convert to curve and now this is a curve okay now what I can do is that come here and make something like good we grab that guy we press for example here cursor to select it so it uh, comes exactly to the middle of this um, edge so select this guy press shift and s selection to cursor in that okay s and scale scale like so s in z axis g grab that so come here add a uh, bevel <clears throat> add a bevel but before we have to apply everything apply all transform and come here bevel minimize add two segment or so press s and so this is its origin oh it's very strange come here press set origin to the geometry in geometry okay now i can press s and y scale it in y uh, come here press until you get a perfect wait up a little bit y s in x-axis a little bit like so now you can add an array in y and zero move from this side to this side add a few count so what you can do is come here and press in y g grab it s and y G, grab the thing and again C 
click right here what I can do is is that I move this segment from here now that we are done with our floor window so I can come here and make the rest of its wall I want to break goes around here and uh, in my window so I hold down shift click here this brick and even this uh, not the whole wall I mean I have this curve here so and this one so I will click on numpad slash my shortcut viewer enabled so numpad slash so now I have this curve around my wall and this my this brick I want to make a copy so in this case I want to this brick goes around like so by a modifier called curve modifier and it will apply after array modifier so in in this case press 3 to come from the X in this case the 3d cursor is very important it have to be middle so I select this guy and shift s cursor to select it and we see that its origin is here and come here click that curve right click set origin to geometry and now shift s uh, I'm sorry yes yes shift s cursor to select it so now it's the 3d cursor is at the center of this uh, curve so now what I can do is come here and shift D to make a duplicate so I will hide that or even I can have that so now I have a copy come here in the modifier tab we add after and after our array modifier we add a curve modifier as well so and it will ask for the target I will come this uh, take this water drop and select the line I already call that line this curve so we have something like that so I come here this is converted in Z uh, we, we have to play a little bit to get the right so this is our Y how about the no no the minus Y axis is much works very well so now I come here and grab G and Y and I will increase a little bit so I maybe put it on 12 G again and 12 so something like that so now what I can do is G and Z press G and Z So I'm trying to set it. This is inside of, of my window, this curve. So I will put this brick exactly at here. And we may be. So I, I press 3. This is a little bit bigger. And so press S and Z a little bit to make it enough like this. So press G again and Z. Come here. Go up a little bit. Now that's perfect, I think. So, so we are done. We are done here.
graph three again. So I will apply all these guys from the top bevel array then and last curve. Now if I go to the tab, press tab and the Z wireframe mode, control save. So I will so let me tab again to solid mode, press slash again. So we see we see something like that. I want to cover this whole area. So uh, this is the origin. Now after applying those, so the origin has changed. So I come and press again the origin at center. Now press S and scale it a little bit so that it's cover whole those holes. Now what I can do is G and grab that come a little bit down and I press again I press one of this one of this side and L and again one of this and L and I will delete those faces so slash again and now I, I come here and uh, move that let me select this slash we focus on the, on this object. So G Z make it a little bit smaller. We apply all those. Origin to geometry like so, and we zoom a little bit. G Z go a little bit upward like so and we select this wall we go to the wireframe mode and 2 for edge I select that edge and G Z go a little bit up and even one for vertex I select those vertex G and Z Again, G and Z, like so. Press slash again, and now it fixed. So this is our window, small window. I will add some extra plane here. This is not fixed origin. We go to the, we fix the, its origin, origin to geometry, and as well, here, here, and here. So everything is okay. Now what I can do is I come here and du duplicate some of this. Mm, like so. Put it right here. And so on. from the top like so and one more put it here so from this point and move it this is too much move so and now it looks much cooler i can add some more plate here but this is enough until now